What about 6.1? I know that um, earlier versions of, of FFmpeg, we saw that GStreamer was much more efficient in some of the more demanding transcoding mm -hmm. cases. Are we seeing FFmpeg 6.1 catch up, or are, are we not seeing any benefit in the in, in the new multi-threading capabilities that they seem to be touting at this point? It seems to be better. We, we actually did some maintenance uh, just re very recently uh, for one uh, key customer. But still, I, we still feel that GStreamer seems to be have better control over the whole pipeline. Um, so especially you had a capability for you to apply different uh, buffers, buffering, so uh, between the filters and the encoders and stuff. And um, for FFmpeg, uh, those strategy, uh, the money strain strategy is kind of uh, hidden uh, inside the, the framework. So for some uh, huge workflows where you say you want to have one input to generate like line letters or you sometimes have 40 letters. Uh, so then, then um, still we can see GStreamer can perform better. But uh, 6.1 uh, has, uh, especially 6.0 has a, a big improvement. Uh, the, so the, it seems that uh, the, the decoder now it is doing multi, uh, better multi-threading. Yeah, so uh, as I said, 6.1 has some uh, hardware, uh, you, you, there's some optimization for the CPU to do the, the interlacing. So that helps a lot as well. Is the SDK always going to be the most efficient, more efficient than GStreamer, or can you get more efficiency working with GStreamer? It is actually, uh, many of our customers, they don't use FMPEG as it is, right? They use Libaby codec and Libaby filters. On top of that, they have their own application. They do all sorts of uh, multi-threading already, right? So in that case, they overcome all these uh, FMPEG issues. They can do achieve the very good uh, uh, support. You know, they don't need to use uh, GStreamer. Okay. Actually, that's the vast majority of customer how they do things. Uh, but uh, if you have to use FMPEG as is, then then you need to live with what what kind of constraints the, F, the, the framework has, right? If you just just use GStreamer as it is, or use FMPEG as it is, yeah, it seems still, uh, GStreamer seems still a bit better in control of the pipeline. Um, but the vast okay. majority of our customers, they are actually using a new baby codec and new baby filter of the FMPEG library and the build the application on top of that. It's so using the own multi-threading strategy. So, so that's okay. Okay, so they're not they're not bound by the limitations of FFmpeg in that in that instance. Yes.